Today we are reviewing the Atlantic Arms <coughs> Romani, Rami Battlefield Pickup. Also known in its original designation as the MD-63. It is the Romanian version of the AKM or, you know, AK-47 or whatever you want to use for it. Now, see, in uh, the 60s and whatnot, basically Russia told the entire Soviet Union, hey, you're kind of, you know, using our shit, make your own thing that uses 762. So, the Romanians came out with this. Basically, they copied the Type 3 originally, but eventually they came out with the uh, AKM variant. Originally, they did not have the trademarked, you know, dong grip, as we like to call it here. But about eh, a little ways in, they figured, hey, we can use, you know, laminate, come out with this. Anyway, fast forward a few years and all that, you know, back in the mid 80s, mid late 80s, they kind of figured out, hey, we like the 74 more, so they stopped production of the Seer, the 762 version. And eventually, later on, you know, they had to start selling them because, you know, newer models coming out, and well, this is how this one got here to America. Anyway, this particular one, as I said, came from Atlantic. I got for about 860 when it came out. Now they're going for about 920 and they're always sold out. But I will say, for at least in my experience, it's definitely worth it. It shoots well, fairly accurate from what I've noticed. The finish is quite nice, though I will recommend you oil the hell out of this thing due to how much it rusts. At least for me, but living here in this swampy hell, you know, everything rusts. Um, I will say, though, it, when you do get it, this, um, this sling here... And of course, the butt pad here does not come with it. These were all aftermarket I got on eBay. Um, I will say though, um, for those of you like myself who are quite large, I highly recommend the, the butt pad for the length of pull. Now, if you have a softer shoulder, you know, and you think it's going to get hurt, don't worry. Don't really need it too much, at least with this one I've noticed they make sure that these are not over gassed, at least not in my experience with this one. It's not. Uh, it's definitely a lot more of a punch than you would get with your AR-15. But don't worry, it's not going to set you in the hospital or give you any bruises or anything. Um, but yes, thankfully though with these, uh, they were made before... Uh, what were known as the Wasser. These were, you know, not made to export originally. So, you know, they don't have any of those typical Wasser flaws you used to hear about so much in the uh, mid to late 2000s. Um, depending on which model you get, your experience might vary with some of the parts due to the fact that uh, when these first came out in the late, in the mid to late 60s, uh, basically every single part was like, you know, forged and everything and like even the gas tube, very good attention to detail. However, in its, in the, um, uh, mid eighties, around 83 or so, they realized, Hey, this is kind of heavy and we're using a lot of metal and other stuff for this. So they ended up get making price cutting, uh, bits. For instance, they started doing lightning cuts around the gas tube. They started making, you know, the sight block, the uh, gas tube, and the front sight, you know, out of cast metal rather than forged. And so it is slightly lower quality in those effects, but, you know, the important stuff, like, you know, the receiver, the um, trunnions, they're all still they're all still forged, so you're not going to have to worry about them blowing up in your face like a, uh, some of the older centuries would. Um... Not to mention, since they were using cheap, uh, using less metal, they're also at least slightly lighter than the original ones were. Um, I will say though, if you decide to get one of these, I highly recommend them. Though, pay attention to the site, because whenever these come on, they tend to rise in price every time they come back, and they sell out extremely fast. Um, though, um... But yes, I definitely highly recommend them over a Wasser. 
because they're a piece of military history. For what you're getting, it's fairly priced overall. Um, I'm not a fan of all the, you know, trench art to a certain extent. But I will say it definitely adds a fair amount of character to these guns. And since they were, you know, replaced the receivers and the barrels due to U.S. compliance laws, they will last you for a long time. Not to mention most of the issues these had with um, cheapening and all that of the materials were also in the barrel. So right there you're already getting something above the base experience you would with your, you know, of OG one. Now, I know a lot of people use the term Rami and Rami G interchangeably, however there is a difference. Mostly to the fact that on this side of the gun with the Rami G, basically right here or so there will be a big letter G in uh, red or yellow depending on how much it's faded over the years. Uh, those were the guard variants. Basically they were straight out made to be semi-auto only for the I guess you could say the National Guard of Romania. But they still had the auto sear. So basically the idea was, you know, it's something for the guard to have, you know, and all that. Though if, you know, Romania is ever invaded or whatnot, they can always put the part back in and it's full auto again. But yes, um, I will say though, very, very smooth action. Comes apart quite easily. It keeps the wonderfully ribbed um, plate cover and all that here. And of course, for when you need it, the butt stock it comes with the, the uh, trap door for your cleaning kit when you need it. Um, I would definitely say this was definitely one of the better buys I've made. And you know, if you ever decide you want to have an optic, it already comes with a um, slide mount there. Though, if you want an optic, a more western style Picatinny one, you will have to get an adapter for this. Um, but yeah, definitely highly recommend these. Uh, but bear in mind though that, as I said, you will have to rush to get these because I've never seen these stay on the site for more than about two days tops. And that was before Corona. Um, Last these in fact these actually started selling again a couple days ago and as soon as the email went out the entire site crashed from orders. So um, keep an eye out and um, hopefully when we get back uh, I will show you how this thing performs in action. And see y'all in a bit.